The Wind and the Mouse by Michelle Worthington. In spring, the wind was busy. It had to blow away all the old bits and pieces that belonged to winter and make the ground ready for everything to grow. It wasn't a cold wind. It needed to warm the earth. It wasn't a soft wind either. It needed to be strong enough to wake everything up. Its job was to help the plants and animals change and grow. The wind blew into the trees, scattering the dead leaves and pushing them to one side. It puffed hard, tugging at the stubborn brown leaves clinging to the branches and breaking off dead twigs for the birds to use. Stop resting, get nesting, it said. The birds began their work. Over the crops, it called to the seeds. Start to grow, it's time to go. The plants pushed through the soil. It unblocked the holes where the animals were hiding, telling them to get out and about. Have no fear, spring is here. Down a hole in the middle of the field, a little mouse slept in a bed made of feathers, moss, leaves and straw. Her nose and paws curled tightly inwards, but her long tail sticking out. The wind blew down the burrow and touched the tip of the mouse's tail. The tail twitched and woke the mouse up. She yawned, uncurled and lifted her head out of the nest. I'm too sleepy to open my eyes. Wake me up later, she said, yawning and falling back asleep. She was comfortable and didn't want to move. She didn't want things to change. The next day, when the sun shone a little brighter, the wind whistled down the hole. It twirled around the mouse's tail until she wriggled. She yawned, uncurled and cleaned her whiskers. It's too light. I'm going back to bed. Soon enough, the mouse was fast asleep again. She was starting to get too warm and a little cramped, but she still didn't want things to change. The wind blew the clouds into black grumpy shapes and made the river grey. It slammed doors and rattled windows. How was it going to wake up the mouse? Early the next morning, instead of blowing air down the hole, she pushed along the sweet smell of the freshly growing plants, the golden tang of blooming flowers and the green perfume of good things to eat. The little mouse's stomach began to rumble. She yawned, uncurled and poked her nose out of the hole. She was scared. She didn't want things to change. The warm wind stayed with the little mouse until the dawn burst from broken light into a deep blue sky. It's spring, squeaked the mouse. The world was changed. The world was wonderful. The wind whistled. I told you so. Mouse was changed too. She was bigger and braver and couldn't wait to see what changes the next season would bring.